Hi, I am Dr. Vishwanath, Senior Consultant in Department of General Gastrointestinal and Minimal Access Surgery in Manipal Hospital, Sajapur branch. Today I am going to talk about fissure piles that is called as a hemorrhoids and fistula problem. See most of the patients with any bottom problems they call as a piles. See how do you differentiate between fissure, hemorrhoid and fistula. I am going to briefly describe uh, about each and every symptoms and what is the investigation modality and what is the treatment modality today. See fissure usually patient comes with a painful uh, condition after passing a stools. This pain and burning sensation usually will last for 30 minutes to 1 hour. Sometimes because of a stretch in the anal canal, the fissure bed stretch and there might be a painful bleeding there. So this is how we differentiate fissure. And coming to the hemorrhoids, the normally we call as a piles in a local language. And piles usually it is always patient present to us a painless bleeding. And we recommend a surgery beyond grade 3, grade 4. Normally we do a, a painless surgery, something called as a laser surgery for the piles. And coming to the fistula. Fistula is nothing but a tube like track where most of the patients will have an external opening near the anal canal and one internal opening inside the anal canal. Most often patients come with the pus discharge near the anal canal. And when the pus, pus forms, usually patients will have a discomfort and pain and this is how the, uh, the it is diagnosed as a fistula and anal. And what are the investigation modality? Usually for the fissure, normally no investigations required. It is purely a clinical examination and diagnosis. And for a hemorrhage, normally we do anoscopy to see what grade the patient is suffering from. Usually hemorrhage will have a grade one, grade two, grade three, and grade four. Grade four is always a painful condition where they present with a prolapse. Coming to the fistula, there are two investigation modality for the fistula and ano. One is MRI anal canal we do and second one is transrectal ultrasound that is called as a truss scan. Both the modalities are good enough for a diagnosis of a fistula. Either one will suffice so we can identify both internal and external opening and how the fistula is tracking. So based upon this two investigation modality is good enough for us to diagnose a fistula and ano. Thank you.